Welcome back to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. This is Business Connect. If this is your first time watching the channel, here on Business Connect, we do interesting videos about life in China, especially as an international student. My name is Roy. Recently, I did a video where I talked about the five mistakes that most students do as international students in China that end up making their life so miserable in China. And in one of the points, in one of the things I talked about is deciding whether to live on campus or leave off campus. As easy as it may sound, these are some of the mistakes that students do and end up finding their life so miserable in China. Some of them, when they arrive in China, they decide to leave on campus. And before you know it, life in campus is not the way they expected. And then they want to change to go to live off campus. And the procedure of living from on campus to off campus in most universities is never easy. And some of them, when they arrive in China, they decide, okay, I want to live off campus. And when they start to live off campus, the life in off campus it's not the way they were expecting and they want to go back to campus so and the procedure like i said is never easy and let me make something here very clear to you life on campus is quite different from life off campus so if this so if you are a student wishing to study in china one day this is the video for you to watch to decide to know what to decide whether to live on campus or off campus Welcome back. Okay, so let's start to talk about the campus. You know, in most universities in China, the campus dormitories are shared dormitories, which means that you have to share your room with someone else. In some universities, they have just a studio, one room with two beds, while in others, you have an apartment where each person has a room to himself or to herself. But you need to find out from current students to know how the university dormitories look like. Then before you decide whether this is the kind of place where you like to live, then they have like kitchens and then maybe other recreational facilities out of the university rooms. So you have to decide whether this is the kind of life or this is the kind of environment where you want to live in. Maybe you can ask pictures to see how your dormitory looks like. And most universities will not distinguish bachelor's, master's or PhD students, maybe give some different kind of rooms to master students, different kind of rooms to PhD students. No, they consider everyone so equal. Okay, to make the video not too long, I'm just going to be hitting on the points. Then you can analyze, to make the analysis by yourself. The first advantage of living on campus is security. It doesn't mean that students who live off campus don't have security. But from my experience and from what a lot of people have told me, students who live on campus have more security than students who live off campus because we consider that the campus is more secure than students who live by themselves off campus. Another advantage is the cost of the dormitory and the bills. We've analyzed that the cost of the university dormitories and the bills are far more lesser than those who decide to stay off campus. Maybe in some cities it might be different, but from my analysis and from what I know, staying on campus is far more cheaper than staying off campus. And looking at the bills, in some universities, you don't pay water bills, you don't pay electricity bills, but in some, you pay. Like in my university, we only paid electricity bill, we, don't, we didn't pay water bills. I don't know, but in most universities, you will only pay electricity bills. I think water bill is free. But for those who will be living off campus, you have exorbitant bills. So the cost and the bills is something that you should consider before deciding whether to live on campus or off campus. Another advantage is that the university dormitories are usually on campus, so are closer to your classroom, so you don't have to struggle getting to class. You just need to either use a bicycle or walk to class, rather than those who decide to live off campus who might have to take taxis or ride bicycles for longer distances or walk for longer distances before getting to class, which might end up landing them arriving class late. And you know in China, lateness is not something that the teachers take for granted. Another advantage of staying on campus is that you're hardly lonely because you will live with other students. If you're lonely in your room, you can just go to the next room and meet someone to talk to, or you can just move out of your, the university dormitories and it's easy to meet people to talk to. But if you decide to live in the Chinese community where maybe your neighbors are all Chinese and you don't have people to either talk to or visit, it might make life for you sometimes lonely. Also, another thing, it's very easy. When you decide to stay on campus, you don't have to struggle looking for a room. Once you arrive in the, the university, you just tell them, I'll live on campus and they provide a room for you. Rather than when you decide to stay off campus, you have to look for the room yourself. You have to sign the rental contract and so on. All that hustle, if you decide to stay on, on campus, you will not have all that hustle. 
Now let's look at the disadvantages of staying on campus. And the first disadvantage of staying on campus, in most universities, they have timings, which means that the dormitories are locked from certain times. So if you stay on campus, you can't come into the, the dormitory after certain times, and you can't leave the dormitory before certain time. Like for example, in my dormitories, after 10 p.m., you can come into the dormitory on weekdays, and then on weekends, it's after 11, you, after 12 midnight, you cannot come into the dormitory, and you can only leave the dormitory after 5.30 or 6 a.m. in the morning. So you see, with these timings, if you're someone who likes to, to be free, to go out at any time and come in back at any time, then the dormitory might not be the right place for you to live in. The next disadvantage of living on campus is that you will have to share virtually everything. You have to share the bathroom, you have to share the kitchen, you have to share your living space, you have to share a lot of things. And if you're someone who don't love sharing your space, then living on campus is not the right place for you. Another disadvantage of living on campus is that there are a lot of restrictions with the use of uh, electrical appliances. Like for example, in my dormitory, you cannot use like bed heaters, you cannot use electric cookers, you cannot use electric heaters, maybe electric kettles and so on. There are a lot of things that the, uni the university will always have random checks and pick out all those things. And you might even get a punishment if you're caught using some of those things. Meanwhile, living off campus, you have the freedom to use whatever electrical appliances you want to use in your room, as long as you're using them the right way. Then also another disadvantage of living on campus is that you will have constant checks from the school. The school administration will always come into your room, sometimes even without letting you know. They can just knock and come in for checks. They want to check to see if the room is in order, if the room is tidy, if you're using the wrong appliances and, and so on. Meanwhile, off campus, you might not have such random checks because someone, you're renting a room, you're paying for it. So someone cannot just batch into your room at any time. But on campus, they can batch into your room at any time for checks. Another disadvantage of living on campus is visitors. In most universities, the boys are not allowed to visit the girls' dormitories. So if you're someone who likes to mingle a lot, then the, the university dormitory might not be the right place for you to live on. But in some universities, it's not that strict. People still have the right to visit their, 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 their opposite sex. But in some universities, I think it's really strict. After certain times, you, don't, you, you cannot visit the girls' dormitory. The girls cannot visit the boys' dormitory. And in some universities, you can't even visit the boys' dormitory or the girls' dormitory at all. So we are done with the university dormitories. Now let's look at the off-campus residents. Now the first advantage of living off-campus is your freedom. You have your freedom to come in at any time, go out at any time. It's your room. You've paid for it. You have the freedom to do whatever you want to do with it. You have the freedom to have visitors at any time. Don't just disturb your Chinese neighbors because Chinese people are very strict with your sleep time. So after certain times, you don't have to play loud music. You don't have to to be loud, you don't have to disturb while the others are sleeping. So the, only, the first advantage of living off campus is that you have freedom. The second advantage is that you have your space, you have your kitchen, you have your living area, you have your bathroom, you don't have to share anything with anyone, you have the space all to yourself. I already said you can use whatever electrical appliances as long as you're using them the right way. You have no one to come to your room to tell you you cannot use a blanket heater, you cannot use an electric cooker, you cannot use a water heater and so on you can use whatever electrical appliance as you want as long as you're using them the right way you can have your little hangout with your friends your little parties with your friend your friends can come over to hang out have little parties with you as long as you are not disturbing your chinese neighbors because these people are very strict when it comes to this especially as foreigners the least noise in your room before you know it the police will knock at your door now let's look at the disadvantages of living off campus the disadvantages one the first disadvantage of living off campus Campus is security like I said once you're on campus the school security is there the police are there and so on so you see that you have double security you have the school security before even the police but once you leave off campus you're just there by yourself not that there is no security but I just feel that the security on campus is better than the security of campus so on off campus you see that the security might not really be that strong then also another disadvantage of living off campus is that you're too exposed to the police. The, the least thing you have to talk to the police. Meanwhile, living on campus, you don't have that direct relationship or you don't have that direct contact with the police at any time. You know, the police is not a place or the police station is not a place that every, anyone would like to be going to or maybe to be having things to do with at any time. The advantage is the struggle of finding a suitable apartment. Sometimes finding the right apartment with the right amenities and so on 
with the right distance to school also might not really be that easy you might find this apartment and the land the landlord is not nice the neighbors are not nice maybe today you complain that this is not working they don't come at the right time to fix it you complain that this is not good they don't come to, to maybe replace it meanwhile on campus maybe if there is a problem you call immediately the school security or the school maintenance is there to come and fix it so these are some of the disadvantages that you have if you leave off campus then also another disadvantage is the cost it might be fairly be expensive to live off campus than to live on campus because the cost of the apartment will be high the bills will be high water then you you will have to pay for all your bills you pay for water bill you have to pay for electricity bill and wi-fi looking at all of these points I'll, i would like to give a few pieces of advice here i might not tell you strictly no don't live on campus live off campus and i might not tell you strictly don't live on campus live off campus so i'll just give some few points then you will decide by yourself the first thing if you're someone who likes freedom if you're someone who likes to live your life then I, I prefer you stay off campus. Then if you're someone who is too young or maybe your, your first time of going abroad, your first time of living alone, then I prefer you stay on campus at least for the first year. Maybe once you get used to life out, abroad, life out of your country, then you can start to handle life outside. Then you can live off campus. In general, in your first years of traveling abroad or of coming to China, I will always advise people to live on campus at least for the first semester or at least for the first year. The thing is that in most universities, once you sign up to live on campus, some of the universities is very difficult for you to go back to live off campus. And vice versa, once you start to stay off campus, it's usually very difficult because sometimes they'll tell you rooms are not available and so on. So once you, you started living on campus, you have to live till the end of that academic year before you can apply to go off campus. So you have to make the choice wisely before you start it. So thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen, for watching this video up to this end. I hope that I've been able to share something valuable and I hope that I've shared something that will help someone someday. This is Business Connect. If this is your first time watching our channel, don't leave the video without hitting that subscription button. I will see you in our next video. Peace out and bye-bye.